Hello everyone, this is Condus12 with Conrock Productions. Uh, today I want to go over my Warden Gear stats. Uh, first off, um, feel free to follow me on Instagram at Conrock Productions or Amino at Condus12. Uh, today is Labor Day and I've got the day off, so I really wanted to make this video for you guys. Um, also, bear witness. My daughter is in the background. She's in the Johnny Jumper. So you may hear some baby noises. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and dive in. I'm a 55 warden and uh, trying to get to rep 60. It's, uh, it's, it's a little challenging. I'm not able to play that often. So we're going to go ahead and start up with the helmet. All right, so with I've got all refined gear. Um, I went ahead and did it because this is all the gear I liked. Um, I waited until I liked all the armor pieces I wanted and uh, all the stats. So messing around with all the stats, this, these stats I'm showing you today are um, the best stats I feel comfortable with for my playstyle. So for, for the helmet here, exo uh, defense, I've got that not to the max but somewhat a little high because in order to have a little bit of debuff, I have to have a little lower defense. Debuff is very important, I feel, because there's bleed damage and the feats. This helps a little bit, so it's not so damaging on you. Um, exhaustion recovery is very important for the Warden. He runs out of stamina very fast, especially with the shoulder bash. Um, they punished him with the stamina because of shoulder bash spamming. Um, they boosted a little bit since the rework, but not much. So, but uh, this setup for the helmet, I feel, is the best fit. Um, next is, is the chest. I have all these up to the max as much as possible and balanced. Um, I'm I really rely on the defense. Uh, I tend to get ganked a lot in the mini matches, and so I also have my revenge up a lot. Um, I really rely on the defense and the re revenge mode duration. Um, this is very effective with the revenge. Uh, it lasts long. It is, uh, y you, you can take a lot of hits with the defense so I can just keep attacking and don't worry about getting hit as often. Um, next is the arms. So as you can see, I've also got everything pretty much balanced out. I like my defense pretty high. Um, my stamina is all up. I try to have everything up with the stamina for the warden because he needs it badly. Um, I wish we can get it up a little bit more, but I couldn't. Um, so the jam stamina regen is very important with the warden because he's not as mobile as a lot of the characters. So when you're out of stamina, you need that bad. So I recommend to have at least the stamina regen up quite a bit for the warden. Next is the sword. I just want to notate real quick that um, everybody doesn't really agree with my sword. They're like, wow, your sword's lacking. But I love the simplicity of this sword. It is just, um, it's, it's simple, it's classic, especially compared to the other swords. All the other swords look like they came from Diablo or just they're super fancy. Way too fancy for my warden style, so I feel like this fits me better. Um, I am thinking about changing swords, getting a new sword, so if you guys have any ideas, just let me know and uh, I'll go ahead and check them out. So for my attack, I like to have a little bit high because you need to do nice damage. If you're going to be attacking somebody, you want nice damage. Usually in about three and a half hits, heavy hits, I can kill somebody no problem. Um, so this is very important. Defense, penetration, I really enjoy that because when you're coming down to that person that has very low health and they try to parry, parry you, your your sword just goes straight through. So it's it helps a lot. Um, you block damage, I just I have that up quite a bit because I like that chip damage. I am thinking about changing this one a little bit. I haven't found quite the setup I like because I want my attack up just a little bit more and maybe my block damage down just a little. Uh, next is the hilt. My attack's pretty high. Uh, execution health regen is really high because when you're in the middle of battle and um, you just la I feel like you're able to fight longer and be away from objectives, 
uh, because when you ex execute somebody, I get probably about at least half to three quarters of my health back after I execute. Um, and revive speed is very important in Dominion because I used to have that all the way down to the very bottom and my attack and exhaust uh, exhaust or uh, execution health regen all the way up I would be I couldn't revive anybody uh, it, it would take 10 seconds maybe even 12 seconds to try to revive somebody but an enemy's already running up on me at that point now it takes probably about four to five seconds for me to revive somebody and that's nice I feel a lot more comfortable with that I'm able to be a team player get my teammates up keep the battle going next is the guard all right so got my attack up I love my attack. It's very, it's very important. You need to do great damage, especially with the top heavies. My revenge gained. With having my revenge up, I rely on that quite a bit. I get ganked, like as I said before. So I have my revenge mode attack up as well because I want to do heavy damage when I'm in revenge because everyone kind of flees. So as long as you get that damage on them before they start running away, that's very important. Um, this setup I've got works great for me. Out of all the other setups I've, I've had, this is probably the best setup I've ever come across. Um, it's as for me as my play style, I'm aggressive, but I'm also defensive and I can hold my own at least during ganks most of the time. So this helps me a lot. If you guys have any other questions or if you guys have any other suggestions for me, what, um, if you guys uh, know anything that's better than this let me know I'll go ahead and check it out um, I hope this helps you out guys um, thank you for watching and I'll be sure to po keep posting more videos for you all thank you so much have a blessed day